All right, we are on that from Mamzai and Ralph. We uh, 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 we are talking at the. We are talking about uh, uh, let's say about uh, about uh, platforms, walls, and platforms next to walls between two courtyards, and so we're continuing along that uh, those veins. How how two courtyards are connected, even though they have a wall between the two of them. And we are in the fourth line, war, fourth line down, and it says, Asara Mastva. The word Asara is a typo, it should be Asa. The race is superfluous. If you made a Mastva, Mastva is a platform. So throughout the entire wall, the Yesh Baruch Havar Batvachim, and it's got four Tvachim width. Now, the next part of the Shalim makes absolutely no sense. Zero. Nothing. Not to, uh, irrational. So Lieberman adds in words here to make it work. Okay? Now, he has no source, but the truth is it really is much better if you add these words in. Otherwise, it makes absolutely no sense, as I said. So he says, he says what you should read here is, Ma'arvich time, that's what it says. Vimratsu ma'arvin echol. If they want, they can make one error. In other words, if you have four tvachim, a platform, on each side of the wall, so now it's as if the, the two sides are connected, right? Because sports volume platform, bringing the height of the wall down where the platform is to within 10th volume of, of the platform. So now that's like a Pesach. And we know whenever you have a Pesach between two Chatzeros, if you want, you can make them separate Arabic. If you want, you can make them Arabic together. So that's why it throws in the word, not Marvich time, or Imratsu Marvin Echot. Now he throws in more words. You throw you, whatever I mean to you now, it doesn't have, it's not in your Gemara. If it's less than four Tvachim wide, meaning the opening, which is constituted by the platform, is less than four Tvachim in width, then of course, Ma'arv each time, you have to make two separate Erevin, getting back into the Gemara now. The Ma'arv in Echud, you cannot make one Eruv. Why can't you make one Eruv? Because there's not enough of an opening. An opening is a minimum for Tvachim. Your platforms on either side are less than for Tvachim. Why? You cannot, you don't have any continuity to go from one side to the other side. Therefore, you must make two separate Erevin. Arba Amos. What if you have such a broad platform that it's four Amos wide? The platform which diminishes the size of the wall on either side is four amos wide. In that case, Marvin Echad Ve Marvin Shnaim. In that case, it's Mamish like a Pirza. Now, this is a tremendously new Allah. Because normally, a Pirza is only if it's ten amos wide. Or a breach in which the two, the walls considered to be broken, is ten amos. But here, there's obviously some tradition in this Yushalmi, between you know, Paskin like, that if you have a platform for almost broad, so that breaches the wall and it's no longer considered to be two separate buildings, two separate sides, and you go over the top and you must make one error for the two sides together. Again, it's very difficult, but there's no, there's not the only difficult thing which we'll have on the page. We're going to have another difficult thing some lines further. Now, new topic. That what you say in the, in the Mishnah that a breach is up to ten amos, which is the the old and conventional way of knowing things, learning things. So that what you say a breach is up to ten amos, big daila. That's very by a broad wall, which is broader than twenty amos. Avo but let's say I have a wall which is only um, nineteen amos. So how broad can the breach be? Less than ten, right? Because the breach can only be up to rove of the wall, and rove of the wall in this case is nine and a half amos, right? And so on and so forth. Easily, what's what's good and what's ktano? Kosher ruba yeser meyeser. Any time the majority of the wall is going to be more than ten amos, then baser than the shear is ten amos. Hapachos meyeser. Any time the majority of the wall is going to be less than ten amos. Beruba, then we go after the majority of the wall. Now, a new Chiddush also here, which is very difficult. It's only in the middle of the wall. But if you have an opening on the side of the wall, it doesn't go by those numbers. Why is that? Because we have a general principle. Person doesn't make an opening on the side of his wall, in the corner, literally. 
So therefore, even if it's much smaller, if it's on the side, it ruins the uh, barrier between the two sides of the courtyard. What's the middle and what's the side? Now there's a remarkable Gemara, it's a bombshell, Rabbi Sai. If there's four Tfachim standing at the end of the wall, then the rest of it is the Emta. And that can be up to ten Amos. If they're Im Lav, and if not, if the walls, if the, the opening is within four Tfachim on the side of the wall, then you all don't have that shear. It's not clear what the shear is, and it's far less than ten Amos. Now, this is my body, because in the Bavli, it's literally only if it's in the corner. In other words, if the piece of Karen Zavis Love in English means, if this is my wall, so I make an opening over here, that's not an opening. But if I made an opening on this side, and I had four Tfachim left over here between the end, the end of my Pesach and the side and the corner, that's certainly a good wall. It's and it, now he's a good wall. It has it has l'chayayim. It has part of a wall on this side, part of a wall on that side. So this is amazing, Ushami. Nobody knows what to do with it. Basically, everybody tries sweeping on the carpet. But we have two chidushim in one page of the Ushami. One neither which you pass It has forty-seven dollars on it. Oh, okay. So it's good to know. So the. Uh, Or maybe get free copy cards. Students take advantage of it. The uh, the uh, the four the ten amos you have in the middle you don't have on the side, but the ten amos on the you, you, uh, uh, normally again in the Bavli that it's the Karen Zavis. Mamish. Here it says within far welcome of the corner. And the other chish we had earlier on the page is that if you have a platform of four amas on either side, on both sides, in order to diminish the size of the sides of the wall, so that's already you only, only make one error, of, even though immediately thereafter we learned that the tears a ten amas here. For some reason the Ushami has a difference by a platform. Again, very strange and nobody knows exactly what to do here. Okay. On we go. If you have a furrow, a trench between two courtyards, ten fucking wide, so uh, ten fucking deep, but four fucking wide. you make two a one on either side of the trench. They you cannot make one. even if you fill this this trench with straw, oh heaven or hay. It's still not considered to be filled. Mele offer it's first you fill it with uh, uh, dirt or pebbles. Marvin Echobe Marmishtai, and then you can make one Eruv, and you cannot make two Eruv. And why? Because the trench has been filled in and canceled. Now, says it sounds like hay is not, or straw is not good enough. But heaven, it sounds like hay, uh, even if Lebiklo, Lebaklo, even if you can negate it and were willing to leave it there, low detail doesn't cut part and parcel of the landscape. And the trench is not considered to be fulfilled in. Says the Gemara, if that's the case, Mas Nisa de Lo, de Lo Rabbi Yossi. I mentioned not going to Rabbi Yossi. So Rabbi Yossi, my Tevinu Bitlo, if you put straw into the hole and you can, you left it there, it's Mavuto. It cancels it. By the way, for those of uh, you who are uh, remember, it's a similar thing at the beginning of Masech the Sukkah. Beginning of Masech the Sukkah, if you have a Sukkah which is above 20 amos, then you have to put something in in order to diminish its size. So the same Sukkah appears there also, right? How to make the Sukkah smaller on the inside. Rabbi Yossi, Rabbi Mishem, Rabbi Chisa said, Koli. Now this does not appear in the Bible. Everybody agrees that... Um, in order that if you put the, that uh, our Mishnah, the straw doesn't work. Ah, that which Rabbi Yossi said, straw works. Umad Rabbi Yossi, Bishop Bal is when you mix the straw together with some dirt. Because then that inherently indicates that you intend to leave the straw there. But if you left the straw there without any dirt, then of course straw is animal food. Nobody's going to leave it there. So in order to cancel, you have to do a Maisebi Adayim. 
You have to actually mix dirt into it. The Bavli never brings that down. Yesh tem and shu kafar, v'kafar and shu kadem. This the Bavli does bring down. There is the dirt. There is a, a, a straw which is like dirt, and dirt which is like straw. Meaning, tem and chain osi lefano. So straw which you do not intend to ever take away. Harei u kafar. It's like dirt in its bottle. Vice versa, avisha sila fanoso, dirt which you intend to cart away and use somewhere else sometime, areo gatavits like straw and it does not cancel the hole. The base rabbiane amru, the as rabbiane, they said, chifo machtsiloyas. If they cover it with machtsiloyas, they put dirt, a straw in the um, hole and they covered it with mats, beat them. So now the trench is canceled. It says, more what? Come see. Milo Martelios Loboto. If you fill the entire the entire trench with mats, they're not boto. Because we're sure that you're gonna come someday and take away the mats. So just because you had straw there and chifo Martelios Boto and you filled it for you 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 covered it with mats, it should be boto. Why should that be boto? If mats themselves, which fill a hole, are not mevato the hole. Now that you covered the straw, which also doesn't fill a hole, with mats, which don't fill a hole, fill a hole. So it cancels the hole and fills the hole. Give me a break. And the Ushami doesn't, uh, Ushami ends with that. Milo haroyos. Tzmicha. If, it, if it's, if it's uh, filled with um, palm branches, I don't know what that loch is. Rabbi Zvika and Rabbi Yami, Rishem Reish Lager said, I feel a rogue, even if you filled it full of saliva, it's canceled. This is a very strange Gemara. What does it mean you filled it full of saliva, right? <laughs> it's even disgusting to imagine a guy standing there and, and uh, you have a whole brigade of people spitting into the hole. But... Well, either I have a says it's not. It is, a, it is a separation. So it's not a separation. No, it, it cancels the uh, trench. No, I would think that no one would want to. Oh, you would take the opposite of the Gemara. So the thing is, it's a very strange Gemara. But uh, uh, the Mashbiach comes here to the rescue. The Mashbiach does not deal with the rogue issue, but based on what the Mashbiach says on the line before, I think we can give an alternative on the rogue. The Mashbiach brings down from uh, Sochim that the gear so there in a, in a parallel Gemara is not Milo Charoyos but Milo Chayoyos Chayoyos without the Resh now everybody says it's a typo it's supposed to be Charoyos obviously like it says here no Chayoyos what are Chayoyos? Sacks Sacks Chayso de Kitre is a language that appears in Bavli sometime T- time to time, which means a sack, a goatskin, which is tied not, you know, where the um, where the legs and where the arms were in order to seal it shut. So chaisa is a sack. Now that makes a lot of sense. That's why the Mashbiach keeps that gear, sir, because he says the question is if you filled it full of sacks, what's the halacha? Now these are really like sandbags. If you think about it, they're they're sacks that you put there. The child is what is the status of these sacks? So the Gemara doesn't know. Gemara says first tzricha, and that Rabbi Zricha, Rabbi Yehuda, Mishael, Mishalakish. This the Mashbiach doesn't throw in, but I think it follows naturally. Rabbi Zricha, Rabbi Yehuda, Mishael, Mishalakish said, "Vafilu reik." Even if the bags are empty, right? The bags might be empty. You don't have to be full of sand or any other substance. If you have empty bags. They are mevatel the size of the hole, and that is certainly much more palatable and much less disgusting than having the water talk about saliva. So I think that that's good. Okay, I look it out. Nestle of Nestor kosher. If you put it across the um, trench, a board, no matter how how thin, doesn't matter. It's still a bridge. And therefore, rochav ar bor tvachim. If it's for uh, uh, if it's for tvachim wide, the chain so to stay katsutrios in the bavli that spelled gizuz tros, and those are two balconies across the street from each other, and you put a bridge from one to the other. Zuka negadzu. 
Marvin Schneim, they make two separate Ervin. Vimratsu Marvin Echod, if they want, they can make uh, one Ervin because they have an opening between the two of them. It's four Tvachim, which is the minimum shear. It's not enough, not ten Amos, so it doesn't cancel the, uh, the, the separation between the two. It's up to them. If they want, they can make two separate Ervin. If they want, they can make one Ervin together. Vimratsu Marvin, Marvin Schneim, Vimratsu Marvin Echod. Pachas Mikalavan, if the board is less than four Tvachim wide, then, uh, then they, they have to make um, they have to make two separate Ervin. Marvin Shtaim ve'em Marvin Echon. Is Tani Marvin Shtaim? Some say in the same for the way our Mishnah reads that they make two separate Ervin ve'em Marvin Echon. They can't make one exactly like our regular Mishnah. However, is Tani this an alternate version which says Marvin Echon ve'em Marvin Shtaim? They have to make one Erev together and not two separate Ervin. Mandomar Marvin Stein ve Marvin Echot. He who says they have to make two Ervin and not one Eruv. Pachos Mikan Beneser. He learns that Pachos Mikan means that the, the beam is less than four arms, twelve him wide. Then, of course, you have to make two Ervin. Mandomar Marvin Echot ve Marvin Stein. Who he says, he who says that you have to make one Erev and not two Erev means Pachas Mikan, he learns that it's Pachas Mikan B'cholo. If you have less than four Tvachim of space, meaning the boards or the the balconies are so close that they're within four Tvachim of each other, so the, the airspace between the two is less than four Tvachim, so then of course they have to make one Erev because they're considered connected. A trench or airspace must have at least four Tvachim in breadth in order to be considered to be a bad hefse between the two balconies or two sides. Okay? Halachahe. Mas pichiben shtei chatzeros. That's relatively easy tomorrow for the rest of the evening too. I didn't finish before 10.15. Mas pichiben shtei chatzeros. Now that I said that, will never finish. Mas pichiben shtei chatzeros. You have a haystack between two chatzeros. A haystack. Now this haystack Gavah Sar Tvachim is ten Tvachim I. Marvin Shnayim and they make two separate Erevim. They Marvin Echad they can't make one Erev. Elu Ma'achilu Mikan Elu Ma'achilu Mikan. Each one they can bring their cows to eat from the haystack on each side. Nismayin Atem Yah Sar Tvachim. What if now the hay, however, is less than ten Tvachim I? Of course, has to be less than Tvachim I across at least the span of ten Amos. But it's less than ten Tvachim I across the span of at least ten Amos, right? So it's a breach. Between the two sides of the uh, haystack, the Marvin Echon be Marvin Shnayim. That to make one air, they cannot continue with two separate air. I'm Rabbi Lazar. Rabbi Lazar said, "Kili must need." So this is the way to read our Mishnah. It's not just they could bring their cows. That for sure is okay. But even Elu Memali Kupasan Mikano Machilin. On each side, each of the farmers can bring their buckets and fill hay from the haystack and take back to the cows. They don't actually have to lead the cows to the haystack. They can lead the haystack to the cows. Now, says the Gemara, uh, what's the Kiddush? I'm Rabbi Chagai Karavina Niyasvin, Kume Menachem, when I was sitting in front of Menachem, I don't know who this Menachem is. I never heard of him before. Ever heard of Amora called Menachem? It's a very famous medoctic named Menachem, but he was a couple of thousand years later. But uh, they were saying from Menachem, Havunamin, they said, what, what's the Kiddush? Shalot Tomar, Eno Kisosa Olim, Elo Kisoymech Olim. Don't say that even though he's not supporting the, ta- the the wall it's not building the wall obviously when he takes away the um, he's not destroying the wall you should say even though he's not destroying the wall by taking away um, by taking away hay because there's still plenty of hay left let us I might say the opposite I might say when you use buckets to take away hay then in fact you're fortifying the wall how you fortifying the wall because you bang your bucket into the wall, you know, as you take the hay, you, sh- you know, some slides, and you shove it back. So I might say, it's also on job is to take hay with the bucket, because you're going to fortify the wall by shoving the bucket back up against the wall 
after you take away the hay. So I might say that that's also, that's where Rabbi Lazar had to come along and say that it's mutu to do on Shabbos, that's not a problem. Okay? Shema Yad, and this is a continuing that concept. What's the chashash which I'm not concerned with? Shema Yad, Tevem Rudod, Shu Somchol Etzidei Kupa. I might say that if the, the hay is loose, he's going to uh, 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 um, tighten it. With uh, with the sides of the bucket, so we don't have to worry about that. It's not a problem. Now here's a very interesting Gemara. Rabbi Yeshe Bowie, Rabbi Yeshe asked, "A soul is sodim. He made a curtain to be a mechitza. Some cholakitze malki supported with a chair on Shabbos. It could be very much a local maisa, right? You have a curtain which is not well, you know, fluttering in the wind, and you want to hold it down pat because that's your mechitza." Whatever the mechitza is for, whether it's a mechitza for Erevin or mechitza for Shul, whatever the mechitza is for, it's the same idea. A lot to is that it's going to be bina. By putting the chair there, you're strengthening it. So maybe that's a form of binyan. So it says the Gemara, it's okay. Namakan l'shav and namakan l'shahos. If you're doing it temporarily, l'shah, that's okay. It's only if you're doing it permanently, the shows that it should stay there, that's a problem. So as long as it's only a stopgap measure temporarily, that's okay. And that's what we're talking about with a chair, obviously. You're not going to leave the chair there, so therefore that's permissible. Tani, my bench of bench day, You have this haystack between the two courtyards. Zepoiseach pischo mikan umachil. Now, let's say the courtyard. Actually, you have uh, it's uh, you have the uh, the pesach here is the pesach from the house. It's opening from the house to the courtyard. House opening courtyards haystack. See the picture? Okay. So you allowed each guy's allowed to open his uh, opening from his house to his side of the to his courtyard and have his animals eat from the haystack, right? And in respect of sides of the haystack. What if now the hay is less than 10 tfachim high? They are both forbidden at until they make an error together. Therefore in that case, what do you have to do? One of two things. Imratza echod, listom es pischo, ulvato reshuso. It's either or. That's most of our claims say it's either or. If you you have one of two choices, neither you can't both carry at the same time. So if one of you can can close your gate meaning you can remove yourself so the other guy can carry. Or an alternate possibility is that you actually are mevati rishus to the other guy. Your domain, your courtyard, which is adjacent to the now depleted haystack, you will renounce its ownership in his favor. Okay? No. Before Shabbos. So they, they, it's once it's mutzah l'mikta Shabbos, it's mutzah l'kola Shabbos. Although Reb Chaim Kanievsky brings down, he says, it could be that our Gemara is talking even on Shabbos, and even though technically it should remain mutter, but Tzegzeri might forget next Shabbos to take care of it ahead of time, right, to replenish it, right, so therefore he says, even, he learns that therefore even if it's even if it occurs on Shabbos, also you have a problem, okay? So, uh, so says the Gemara, because really, I guess it's bothering him now that I think, now that you asked me the question. I didn't realize it bothered him before. It's bothering because if it's before Shabbos, they don't have to bit the Rishus, make an Eruv. Right. That's what's bothering you too. Okay, I didn't realize that. So you're right. It's, it must be talking like he says, on Shabbos, nonetheless, Chazal Aser, lest you come to use it the next Shabbos as well. Okay, very good. So, um, uh, who, uh, uh, so the guy who's Mavata Rashus or closed his door, he's Lusser, and his friend is Mutter. 
Charitz Shebein And uh, there's a word missing here The uh, Reb Chaim Kanievsky and Lieberman throw in The Chain Charitz Shebein Shtei Chateros The same thing is true If you have had a trench between the two yards And our chops have got partially filled in So the same idea applies there Now Hadamara This teaches us the carbonator takes out chain because it doesn't work. Changes it to Adam Ra Mivatli Michatzel Chatzer. Is the cost of lab in the Bavli? Can I do bitter shoes from my courtyard to your courtyard? Most bitter shoes that the Gemara talks about is we all share a chatzer and I have a house in the chatzer and I'm a of my reshus in the chatzer to you in the common chatzer. But here actually we see her being a vat reshus me chatzer le chatzer. Though it's a guy who has his chatzer one side of the haystack is being a vato to the guy who owns the reshus on the other side of the haystack. So very interesting here the Bible Yushami says we see him a vat chatzer chatzer. Hadramaran, this teaches us afilu lo irvu that even if they didn't make an A roof wasn't it obvious? Yes, the carbonator says that filo irvu means that I might think that bitl is only an option where some people made an A and other people forgot because that, that's normally what we had it previously so here we see that even if nobody made an air of here Bittu is still Rishul, an option even though we could there's no air involved it's not where somebody forgot to make an air but even where no air was ever intended one guy gets to carry the one guy gets to use the haystack not the other guy but one guy gets to use it okay that you can't both use the same domain meaning that since they're in clash one of them has to close his door and be about the Rishus they can't both use the haystack on the same Shabbos that's it uh, except of course we had a Mandoma earlier in the Sechta the Mavatli Mechazim Mavatli but according but uh, at the same time they certainly can't use it. One has to be about to use the other in order to for the in order for the other one to use it. Hadamara and this also teaches us Pesach, Pesach, This teaches us that um, that um, even though each one has his own doorway leading into the courtyards, again, house, doorway, chatseros and haystack in the middle so even though each one has a doorway they can't say I'll close my doorway no they can't the, they can the. oh yeah they can't say it's an interesting thing which I don't know if you, you know if we pass in this way he said it said before echad is pisro or yivato rishuso why does he have to close the door? We never said you have to close the door. What's the chat close the door? A door, uh, as long as you have an opening. Yeah, but why do you have to do it? As long as you have an opening. We said before, if you have an opening at fourth Fachim up to ten Amos, which this probably is. So, Ratu Marvin Shlaim, Ratu Marvin Echot. So, by definition, it's considered to be an interruption. So why does he have to do the physical act of closing his door? That's the question. Let the gateway itself be the barrier without him physically closing his door. See, the, the, it's a good question, right? Why do you have to actually have to close the door? So on this he says, so, so it must be that you do. <laughs> That's the, the Shali concludes. When you have that, in this case, where they're coming to share a joint, a usage rishus, which was separately owned, and now make it a joint rishus by bittel, so the guy who's mevatel has that, not just a natural, the barrier of the doorway, but he actually has to close his door. Which is very funny, I don't know exactly know why, but that's what it says. Zabaz is Zabaz, which name is and the one guy has to close his door for the other guy to be able to use the rishus. Look at the door closing as being itself a bit of a rather than having to... That could be it. Maybe that's the shot. I, I think that you're right. 
I think it's either he does a bit or shows verbally, or he does it manifestly by closing his door. And that, it's a symbol. That's her, that's her, that's why before it's the Chaim Kanievsky stress that it's either or. Either he closes his door or he does a bit or shows. Because either one suffices on its own. Very good. Okay. So either he does a verbal bit or shows or he closes his door. Okay. The uh, Chena Bais. Now this is a, a Kula. This is going a, 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 a Kula uh, um, uh, where you have um, where you have a house between two courtyards, not a haystack. You have a house between two courtyards and you want to you want to both use the house, or I guess you both have use of the house, and you didn't make an error, but now you want to know do what, know what to do on Shabbos. So uh, the same thing is true. You can close the one of the guys can close the door, and the other guy can use it, and that's a form of bitur shuz. The chain babais, right? Shabbat shechateros. Udulo Rabbi Meir. However, that's not like Rabbi Meir, because Rabbi Meir says the Rabbi the a house which you can lock, it's an usher unless you actually lock it. Closing it is insufficient. To close the door is insufficient. The guy has to lock the door. So here we see it's not, you don't actually have to lock it, you just have to close the door, not actually lock it. Okay? Bowing out. Okay? See you in the morning. Right? Where are you saying Slichus tonight? Ten o'clock. Okay. You know I don't approve, but all right. Next, next, next wish. Kate, I wish that we. The truth is, I, I I see that that's going to be the trend. It's you can't fight it. Yes. Every year, there are more and more places, more and more people who do it. All right, there ain't no Messiah's Nefesh and Clyde's Roll anymore. Nobody wants to walk around for two weeks and you pointed out that you saw us. Yes, well, I, I, I certainly, I, I, certainly a tremendous EHR to do it. I, you know, this the 10 minutes earlier in the morning is such a ter- terrible psychological barrier. No, but, all right, next Vishnu. Kate Samish Tadfin Vimov. How do you make sheet of in a movie? Tell me how to make a How do you make sheet of in a movie? You put down a barrel. Voyme says, How are you going to make a movie? This for all the members of the movie. The Mazakulan, you, you, um. How do you translate Mazakulan? No, but it's it's acquiring for them a portion. You all know what mezaka means. I just don't know how to translate the word in English. What? No, they actually have to give them a chelik. Yeah, but but it's the opposite. To be zoycha means to acquire for somebody. Here it's to be mezake to them. Okay, I don't know exactly how to translate, but in any event, you got the idea. Right. Vayner says. Mzakli and I, they know bitok doim. What you do is, in order to be mzaki, you take another person. You say, here, you be zoyche in this for the bnei amovli. So this is the kinyan. You're being kind on their behalf, right? So this works by your son and your daughter, who are adults, by the avdo v'shiv chaso, and by your slaves, ha'ivrim, who are Jewish ones. By the Eastern, by your wife. Avalena. Transfer benefit. But it's a benefit of ownership. It's quasi, at least quasi ownership. That's called benefit. Okay, fine. So Avalena is actually Loy de Bno Bitok Tanim, but you can't use your minor children. Loy de Avdom Shichosa Knanim. And not because not your your evan and shivcha who are knanim, not because of a lack of das, mind you, which one's going to pick up on, but rather they shiyod and kiyodo. Their hand is like your hand; it's like taking the object and saying, "Let this hand be zoyche for all the bnei amavui." You can't do it. It's got to go into somebody else's domain, 
who at least, uh, who therefore symbolically at least acquires it for everybody else in the Chatzar, in the Mavli. But I can't do it from one hand to the other, nor from somebody who's totally, from myself to somebody who's totally under my jurisdiction. Who are you showing? Two different hands of a person with two different shields. Yeah, by Meister Shane, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, we did have that, two, two different hands. But I guess not for Chosh and Mishpat issues. I don't remember what it was. You're right. But it was for Chosh and Mishpat. So you're right. There was something like that. Okay, it says to Tani You can't do this process with a barrel which you have in your wine cellar. Why? Very, very simple. Because you might forget it. Drink it on Shabbos. And then your are always Shituf, right? Or actually before Shabbos begins. Then you're always shituf. Ma'anon uh, kayomi. Uh, what are we talking about? In big doyla. Who are we talking about actually? Yeah, what kind of evidence shivcha? In big doyla. We're talking about in the ratio of the mishnah. Shivcha uh, knainis, who's a doyla, she's a rainy adult. Zorcha besimani. What is she doing? Slavery. She went free. When did she go free? When she got simani at the age of twelve. So can I be talking about a shivcha shivcha knais who's a gdoila? And if on the other end, in Biktana, Hakaton Zacha, if it's a, a Shivcha Knainis who's a Ktana, which is the old guy Shivcha Knainis that there is, how could she be Zacha? She doesn't have that to make acquisitions. So it says the Ushalmi, Ama Rabbi Yudon Bar Sholoim, Kumi Rabbi Yosi, Tipater, let it go, Command Omar, like the people shows Hakaton Toyreim. That a cotton can take truma. It's such an opinion. That cotton can take truma goes like him. Oh my way, he said no. But I feel like I'm not in a cotton toy ring. Even according to people who chose that a cotton cannot take truma, ha cotton zoich. The cotton gas here. How, where do we see this? Al daiti the rabbonin the tamon nicha. That looks out according to the rabbis in Bavel. Right, the rabbis in Babel had such a shita. Tamon goes over there. Omar b'shem Rav Nach Bar Yaakov. It says the name Rav Nach Bar Yaakov. Kol shenosin lo egos umashlicho. Any anybody, any child, who when you give him a a nut, he tosses away. Tzror, you give him a pa, a rock. The nut lo, he takes it. So he's obviously. Deranged or not yet by das? What? Violently inclined. Yeah. So I'm there. I might be other can might see lashba. Now there are two different versions of what that means. One interpretation of that means if you put something in his hand, it's as if you're putting it in the garbage dump. I mean it's hefker because he has no resource to himself. The other interpretation is the Chaim Kanievsky changes the gears slightly. I might be other can might see biashba. If you find something in his hands, it's like finding it in a dump, meaning it's hefker, because he has, both mean that mean he has no ownership because he's, he's deranged, not yet ready for prime time. Okay? Kamoitzi l'ashpotami. Egos v'notlo. If, however, when you give him a, a uh, nut, he knows to take it. Tzrar, if you give him a stone, mashlicho, he throws it down. Or if he uh, lives in certain parts of Shlaim, he throws it at a car <laughs> on Shabbos. Then, Gezelo Gezel in Neidakishol. He doesn't really have ownership yet, but he already is at a stage of life where he has uh, uh, he has discernment. He can tell things, and therefore, Midrabon on there's Gezel. In other words, Dakishol means in order to maintain equilibrium and peace in society, Chazal gave him the status of ownership, and therefore to steal from him is Nisad Rabban and it goes against the concept of Dark Okay. Yeah, but the thing is, this Dark reminds me that Dark in the also appears in the uh, Bavli in this context. It does, because it also, in, par- in the Gittin, in the fifth parak, where it talks about the parallel issues, talks about the same issues, it does call that Gezel in Dark as well. So, uh, Lamai said that Gisham does apply between Jew and fellow Jew. At least between an adult and a, and a child. Okay. Says the Gemara, Ego is v'noit l'tzror. 
the Yikimim are not, and they, um, well, he's coming back, you might want to point out to him. Dr. Spadell has something he wants to tell you. We have Dr. Shalom here. We do? Yes, between the Jews. Keza from a cotton is also because of Dark Sholom. Yeah. I didn't remember until this came up just now, but it is uh, it's brought down there Dark Sholom as well. Okay? Now if the kid takes an egos or a troar of a note low might steal, this isn't even hard on my dragon. This is not brought down in the Bible, it's interesting. We're recording the rabbis above them. But the rabbis of Bavel themselves did not have these three madrigas. In the in the Bible, there's only two madrigas that he he, he throws he throws away the nut and keeps the rock, or he, he keeps the nut and throws away the rock. But here is the third level, the third level, which is critical. If he keeps the rock, if if he keeps the the nut, benotlo umatsnio. He doesn't just eat it, but rather he hides it. That's even a higher level of Madrego. Delayed gratification. He's going to put it away for later on, right? So the taking of Matzniel, or Mevila Chazmai, brings it, although it's not clear, it could be there are two types of Gezel de Rabbonon, right? There's Gezel de Rabbonon of Darkishom, and Gezel Gomor of, um, Gezel Gomor of, uh, of uh, complete the Rabbonon, right? And which is what the Pnei Moshe learns. But it does sound like Gezel Gomor is. The right, so I don't know. In any event, uh, I've, uh, that's only, however, when even when he reaches that high stage of das, zochel atzmo, he can only acquire for himself a low lacherim, but not for others. So that can't be our mishnah. Our mishnah is like Ravuna. Ravuna America shame should zochel atzmo kach zochel lacherim. It's likewise for others. So to acquire for himself. So to acquires unto others as well. And everybody agrees, no matter how old the kid is, a kid can't give gifts. Interesting concept. Can't give gifts. Why is that? The Savior says, Kitan ish matona, matnas, whatever it is. Ish matona matnas, cotton ain't no matnas. A child, his matana is not about matana. He can't give gifts. I think about the story about matana the base of Mikdosh. Truma. Parshish Truma. Koshke. Can't give to his holy cause, certainly can't give to a profane cause. So it's a very big Kiddush, but that's what it says here. Yeah. Um, now, Divei now it's here a little bit from Lieberman. Lieberman says this were Divrei Chachomim in the Yushalmi. In the Bavli, you would never find Divrei Chachomim as a prelude to something. The the, the past words of Divrei Chachomim. But he says he proves from several places in Yushalmi. Whenever you have the words Divrei Chachomim in Yushalmi, it's like an introduction to a new sugya. So the word I would have read with now out Lieberman, each mat no so each uh, uh 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 matnas no matnas matnas that that's how you would read it conventionally. But he says that's not the way to read it, rather Divir Khachomim is going on the next statement. Divir learned the words of the rabbis. Rabbi Ben Pazi Vushem Rabbi Yechlan, Rabbi Yaakov Shem Rabbi Yechlan, Zoil said, Loyla Men Gzela Mukhuvar Achovishte Saros. His theft is not the Raisa, Mukhuvar always means the Raisa. It's not the Raisa, not clear, meaning not the Raisa, until he has two hairs. It sounds like, not like the Pnei Moshe before. And when it said Gezo Gomor before, it meant the Raisa. And Rabbi Yechlan from, that's Rabbi Yechlan from Eretz Yisroel is arguing. And the Rabbanan the Tamon, that the Rabbanan Bava held its Gezo the Raisa from the time he knows to delay his eating and keep it safe and preserved, safeguarded. Rabbi Yochan says it's still not Gezel the Raisa until he has two hairs. Rabbi Yochan had said, that which we said, that, uh, that, um, uh, Midra Bonan, he has acquisitions, uh, uh, before he's 13 years old, 
for it's a gadol that that you can um, that you have to um, I guess ultimate but means that you have to go to court in order to get money away from him. So whatever he's holding on to is assumed to be his validly. But if somebody took something away from the cotton and took an oath, a shvua sheker, and he has to be in carbon as a result, so everybody agrees that a person cannot be chayev a carbon as a result of theft from a cotton until the cotton is an adult, meaning until he has two ears. Okay? It's only Shavuot Sheker. It's kind of like perjury. You only have perjury when you, you testified, when you testified, not when, just when you lied, right? Yeah, the perjury is when you lied under oath, not stama lied. So, so to a Shavuot Shav is only when there was a Tevia, a valid Tevia, and then you were Nishbal Sheker. It can't be in a vacuum. It has to be there's a legitimate claim against you, and then you lied in return in your oath, not just that you lied in an oath in the Velta Rhine without a, uh, a catalyst. Yes, right. Uh, what? Carbon Shvur. If you make a Shvur Sheker in response to the Tvi of a Kata. Okay? Says one further. Now, Lieberman, not Lieberman, the Reb Chaim Kadievsky takes out the next three words and he puts them further down on, on the page. And that changes the shot in several different places on the page. So let's, let's, let's learn the way he does. Rabbi Yossi boy, Rabbi Yossi asked, Miato Aflo Atzmo Lo Yizke. If you're going to dash him, so he shouldn't be able to be Zerche for himself. The Chsevet says, El Re Eyu. It says that, uh, that the person gives, in that parish of Karmat Shvu, it says, El Re'eu, you give to your friend. Ache Kareu, well, that means until he's like his friend. Just like his friend is his adult, so to the, 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 the kid has to be an adult. In other words, the party who's making the Tvia has to be an adult. The Re'eu, who received the, give, the, the object for safety, whatever it is, as making a Shvua, must also be an adult. So we see that even to receive something and acquire it, you have to be an adult. So how can a cotton even acquire anything? According to you, Rabbi Yechnon, says, well, you're right. I hold, um, uh, now here the, here's where the, uh, um, uh, the, um, Rabbi Chaim Kiyevsky throws in those three words. Biran Karabona Dehocha, like the rabbis over here, meaning Rabbi Yechnon, who all that there's no carbon for the raisa, so there's no kinyan the raisa, and the whole concept of a cotton having a kinyan, Rabbi Yossi Brayabun, B'Shem Rabbi Shvor Yitzhak said, you are the B'Shitas Piyutos. It follows the Shita, in other words, the Sugya of Piyutos. Now, Piyutos does not mean liturgical poems here, it means p- what the Bavli calls Piyutos, young children. Okay? A Paut is a young child. The Tia we learned that Piyutos, Mikra Mekach Mikra Mimkar. Yeah, right, right, right. Mikra Mimkar. What they buy is a, is a purchase, and what they sell is a sale. Be metalchim by movable objects. Bidra Bonam. All right. Now coming back to our Mishnah, what's Nina? I don't understand. Then we learn our Mishnah. I will aim as I can lay the no bitok time. The lay the after a shiv chaso ha a a a a a knanim mivnei shiyodon be the yodon kiyodo. It says that um, you now have to be mezake to your um, to the other people in the uh, in the um, in the um, in the Chatzar, and in the Mimavli, by your children. Why not? We just got to saying that the Rabbanon is good enough, and this is certainly the Rabbanon. Says the Gemara, Rabbanon the case I mean, Kam B'Shiyesh Das Latino, Kam B'Shiyesh Das Latino. Depends if he has Das or not. If he has Das, then you can do it with Rabbanon. If he has no Das, you can't do it. 
Okay, so actually the way to read our Mishnah is Av Emazak Loide Beno Bito Akdanim. If they're too small, that they're not even considered Pu'utos. And Veloi they have the Shikhos Akdanim, not because they're young, they can be adults too, but rather because Yod and Kiyodo. There are two separate statements in the Mishnah. One is that the children, if they're too young, the ratio is where they're old enough that they're considered to be Pu'utos at least. The safer is where they're not even old enough to be putos, and then after Shiv is a separate psal that Yon Kiyod are not a separate entity. Okay? That's why the first time you seem to read that Yesh Yon and Kiyod are applied to Yon and Kiyod. Right, but that's obviously not the case. That's right. Okay? Says the Gemara, Tamati, we learned over there. Hashor upon if somebody barred a cow. The Shokhalo be a Beno. By the way, if anybody really has to go, we can finish. We did two blocks, but... What? Shouldn't have said anything. No. But I am going to go to, to, to the Mishnah. Right? Not for, well, I ain't that Marvi, that's right. What? No, no. Did you have Marvi? Oh. Do you want to go? Okay, so... We'll go a couple more. Sorry, Yarko. So, um, Tyler and Stephen Lentz over there. Um, you borrowed a, a, a cow, but it hasn't yet reached your domain. The, uh, the, 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 um, the, uh, the owner of the cow sent it to you in the hands of his own child, etc., so you're exempt. You have me a barter. Show is chayev on misa, but it didn't yet reach your rishus. Now that's not a problem. The sefer of that Mishnah says, however, that if it got, if it was given over to your slave or your child, you the borrowers, then you're chayev. Well, says the Gemara, leisa dam rasha even mezakeme rabu laacher. That means that a slave can be Zoche from his Rebbe. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, there it's talking about... No, I made a mistake. It's where the, the, the lender, the borrower told the lender, send it to me with your slave. The race is where the lender on his own initiative sent with his own slave, and then the, the borrower's part that says, I didn't reach my rishus yet. But where the lender said to the, um, the lender said to, the, the borrower said to the lender, the shawl said to, to the bailin, send to me by your slave, view your slave, so then the moment it leaves the house, even though it's still going with the slave of the owner, the borrower's chayef. So I'm going to ask, how could that be? We said an evid can't be mezoich alachem. In other words, you want really, here the Eved must be Zoche in the cow for the borrower, for the borrower be high. But that doesn't work. Because he said an Eved is your yacht. So therefore you can't use your Eved to be Zoche for the borrower. So how can the borrower's liable in this case? Shouldn't be liable. Says more, very easy answer. Says the Gemara, let, well, first of all, let me see the question. Let me see that an Eved can be Mezake from his Rebbe, the owner to the borrower says more no I'm Rabbi Leza Tipata Be'avid Ivri with Tzoy Ba'an Be'avid Ivri Be'avid Ivri is a separate shus it's not like Be'avid Knani who's your own property Be'avid Ivri is distinct I'm Rabbi Yochan no I got a better answer but if you tell me Be'avid Knani give me a toy about where it's the owner of the 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 Be'avid Knani of the owner Tipata Be'avid Lo Psach Lo Ba'amila it's where the borrower was a was a, was a shmo the borrower says, I have a lot of strange people in this Masechda. The borrower is a shmo, Abu Chavis. The borrower said, you know what, just send your cow over anyway and I take responsibility. Oh, literally, open the gate, let it roam, and I'll take responsibility until it gets to my house. I guess he felt secure and confident. So, that's his problem. Open the gate to buy, 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 me allow, and let it come its own. So we see that you don't actually have to take ownership, you have to take responsibility. And I can take responsibility even though I wasn't Zoycha by the Ebbet. Vitani came, we learned this in a Brysel. Hinhiga, 
if you pull if you if you pulled it him I know he niggas you you drove it him you pulled it Karala even you call to the bus he's chayiv l'shalim kashol then you ready become chayiv and tashlumi like about borrow Rabbi Shomer Rabbi Yuzira Shama law mean is the word message mean mean hado hear it from here Avayim Ezaka from the other part of Mishnah Avayim Ezaka loy de bno from the end of Mishnah Avayim Ezaka loy de bno bitok taim loy de avdo shichos haknani mitnei shiyodon kiyodo it says it can be zoiche by um, by um, by uh, by uh, by your avodim. So says the Gemara. Leisa Damara Shein Eved Zochemi Rabbo Alacher does not teach us that a Rebbe an Eved can be Zochem from his Rebbe for somebody else. So uh, so uh, it's a kasha. So uh, it's a kasha on uh, that bright and that mission over there that you want. Which says it's Mashmi you can. So Gemara gives a different answer. It's not necessarily true that it's comparable because maybe Tzli Rav Meir holds Yad Eved Kiyad Rabo, but everybody else holds Yad Eved is not Kiyad Rabo. Okay? Says the Gemara. So our mission would be like Rav Meir. Vatani Ishto. Says more. Wait a minute. What are you going to do with the fact that it says in our Mishnah his wife? Um, yeah. And the Mishnah says you can be Mizaka the Shitu to the other people in the Mavli by your wife. Where a mayor holds your wife is also yours. Right, your wife is also your domain. You have a joint owner, your joint property. Either you own your wife, or your wife is joint ownership with you. Whatever the case may be, but the mice your wife is not separate. So how can you say, Mrs. Rabbi Mayor, Vatani Ishto, Isach Meimad Rabbi Mayor, of Adyad Isha Kiyad Baalo? Don't you know that Rabbi Mayor? It has to be read. So use a little bit of stretch hammer. What it's saying is, don't you know Rabbi Mayor says Yad Isha Kiyad Baalo? Says why no? Rabbi Chanaim Shem Pircha said, "He put her kahan tanya." Learn like this tano. The time learn ishto in a poydlo meitzer sheni. Rabbi Shem ben Lord Shem Rabbi Meir ishto poydlo meitzer sheni. So my chlokas Rabbi Meir held this tana kama who must be Rabbi Meir holds your wife can't redeem for you meitzer sheni because she's not distinct from you. Okay, she's not distinct from you, so she can't be poydlo for you meitzer sheni. Meaning without giving a chomish. Right? Somebody else who's redeemed my Shane for you, you don't have to doesn't have to pay the extra fifth. So she can't redeem my Shane for you because she's not without the fifth, she's not the same. Shemila Shame says Ishto that there is a version named Ray Mayor that his wife is the scene of Poil My Sushani. Tahin Tanya, that's what Tanya says, I'm Ray Mary had Evid Kiad Rabo, that the hand of a slave is like the hand of his master, but below Avid Yad Isha Kiad Rabalo, but he doesn't make the hand of the woman like the end of her, her husband and therefore our Mishnah has a dichotomy even if it's going like her mayor between an Isha who could be Mazaka the sheet of the other members of Mavli and a Eved who cannot be Mazaka the sheet of to the other members of the Mavli that's it so it's uh, Ishto Kigufo is not visibly Chosha Mishpah it's like by well it is, but vis You can't testify against your wife. But it's not necessarily vis a Okay. It's clear, especially that a woman can say any nizoinus many oisa and she can completely repudiate any joint bank accounts with her husband. Okay?